I had measles as a kid, and I'm still alive and well. I was hit by a car while bicycling, and I'm alive. However, I still believe it's better for drivers not to hit bicyclists. Nah, go ahead, it's fine. What's up, guys, and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien, and today we're looking at r slash murdered by words. This man asked me out on a date. He was actually fine as heck, but when I asked him where we were going, he said, and I quote, ladies, Applebee's. I busted out laughing at his silly, cheap butt. I told him, I own my own shop, a house, a BMW, and stocks. I can buy Applebee's. Then I walked away. You should have seen his face. I'm worth more than Applebee's. You have to impress me, and that ain't it. Ladies, keep them standards high as heck. Don't settle for a broke man. So, because he offered to take you to dinner at Applebee's, he's broke? You had to tell him of all your worldly accomplishments to sound good? You don't know that man's financial status. He could own several Applebee's, he could be a broker, he could be a doctor, but you judged him off a restaurant? I'm sure if I saw his face, he would be laughing because he just dodged a bullet. You own all of those things, but you still don't have a man. It's not because your standards are high, it's because you ain't crap. LOL, I hate crusty A Western men who call Asian men gay for being more likely to be impeccably groomed and dressed with a solid skincare routine. Like, okay, Robert, you completely have the right to have a neck beard and smell like crap and wear your socks and sandals and cargo shorts combo. But when Yoon Sung is over here looking 25 at age 47 and you just turned 33 on your 18th birthday, you might want to reconsider wearing a face mask or two occasionally. There ain't nothing wrong with skincare, fellas. No, l listen, self-care is not vain. It's take a care of your body. A happy body is a happy mind and a happy mind is a happy man. Go forth, my dudes. Use some skincare. Jessica Biel is getting bashed, hated, and canceled because she doesn't believe in vaccinations. This toxic outrage behavior shouldn't be acceptable. It's disgusting. It's okay to have different beliefs. Repeat, it's okay to have different beliefs. Everyone is entitled to freedom of speech by right. However, freedom of speech does not mean freedom from consequences due to exercising that freedom of speech. You say things that endanger children, People will criticize you harshly, as well they should. Four-year-old, why are your boobies flat? Me, because I'm laying on my back. When you stand up, they'll be long again? Yes. Hashtag Happy Father's Day 2019. My brother-in-law would sit at Thanksgiving dinner and smugly spout off all these inane anti-facts facts about how these diseases were on their way out anyways as the vaccinations were developed. His dad started speaking to him in sign language, my ex-brother-in-law started talking back in sign language, and my ex-father-in-law finally said, So you know how I taught you sign language? When you were small and why I learned to sign? I used sign language because your uncle lost his hearing for polio and subsequently died at 17. You are less than one generation removed from polio and you have the audacity to sit at a table and claim vaccines are a hoax. You're an entitled jerk and your ego is going to cause many people pain and suffering. Just because you have to think you're the smartest person in the room. Camps have definitely taken the stand. Summer camps are requiring children to get vaccinated amid measles fears. Do they offer camps for kids that are not vaccinated? Yeah, they're called cemeteries. Foxes are lupine. I don't know if I said that word right. <laughs> not canine. Completely different species. The problem with putting more effort into sounding authoritative than being accurate is you reveal that you're an idiot. Canine is the layman term for all animals in the family Canidae, which includes every animal in this list plus a few more, like the bush dog and the raccoon dog. The problem with putting more effort into sounding smug than being accurate is that you reveal that you're not only an idiot, but also a jerk. Oh, and furthermore, lupine means wolf-like, not fox-like. The term you were looking for is vulpine. Foxes are both vulpine and canine, but they are distinctively not lupine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Animals. Roast me. I can't believe you ripped up your house just to write roast me. Oh. Ooh, I I'll be honest, with how the light was hitting the back of that dude's hat, I thought it was a cardboard cutout. Perfect for crybaby millennials. Warning labels on music with curse words and fear of satanic cults and churches and daycares were both baby boomers. <laughs> well, at least you weren't the generation that blamed video games and comic books for city souls and communism. Oh, wait. Got him! If we all switched to cursive and stick shift cars, we could cripple an entire generation. Yeah, that's a good idea. Their iPhones couldn't solve that problem. Actually, they could, since we could look up how to do these things. I guess we can learn more from technology than we ever did from boomers. That's right! That's right! Get out of here, boomers! Boomers! Frickin' boomers. Fellas, it's 2019. If she's trying to take things slow and make you wait for guests while you pay for her meals, get rid of her immediately. If she ain't sucking wiener on the first date, kick it to the curb. Stop wasting time with these women. Your daughter's gonna be sucking wiener for dinner then? Oh. 
Darius didn't like that one. Frick, dude, I got into a huge argument over at r slash vegan over this just two days ago. I don't eat meat, but I will not look at my dog and be so up my own butt about my lifestyle choice that I'd put it on her. Dogs are animals, and it's in their nature to hunt, have a prey drive, run with a pack, and eat frickin' meat. Depriving them of that is abuse. Suck my wiener. Yes, it is. If you say otherwise, you probably don't even own a dog and only think of these things when you're trying to sleep at night and all of a sudden you're an expert. A frickin' season Milana dog nutrition. You can tell any carnivore by looking at their teeth. Their teeth are made up so that they can tear apart a living creature while it's alive and struggling to get away. They tried throwing the, hey, look at a hippo's teeth, they're herbivores, at me. But newsflash dummy, they were proven omnivores a long time ago and are well known for cannibalizing each other. I'm vegan, but holy crap do I hate other vegans with a burning passion. You don't eat meat. Cool. Couldn't have been able to tell without that huge meaty wiener in all your mouths. Edit. Here they come, out of the woodwork. Before replying with whatever knee-jerk reaction you're having, ask yourself this. Do you have a dog? If you do, is it currently on a vegan diet? Didn't think so. Shut up. Edit 2. How dare you say that about hippos? Wah. Here's a video of hippos eating a zebra. Shut up. I'm at the Hotel Imperial in Vienna, Austria. Almost 200 rooms, but the elevator has been broken for three days. Please don't bring European-style socialism to America. The Imperial Vienna is privately held, but speaking of socialism, congrats on being publicly owned. Time of death, 18 minutes ago. Kelsey, 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 you gotta turn the heat down on the burner, you're boiling us alive! Hello followers, my son said they were giving out shots at a school and I was fired up. These bastards are trying to give these poor kids autisms. Hashtag antivax, hashtag antivaxers. Hey, as a future funeral director, I love antivax parents. Kids' corpses are way easier to carry to the funeral house and embalm. Imagine if you couldn't watch the videos you love. Imagine if you couldn't watch the videos you love because the platform they were on demonetized them all and the creators became unmotivated and stopped making the content they were previously paid for. Hmm? Because someone being employed by a corporation obviously invalidates their opinion. To all the anti-vaccine moms out there, keep it up. Go ahead and dress your unvaccinated children in their baby gap clothes and make sure you load them safely into their Graco car seats. Then go ahead and drive them to Whole Foods where you buy their organic Veggie Kids baby food in your Lululemon yoga pants. When you're done, make sure you load it all into your BMW SUV and drive home. Listening to Taylor Swift or Adam Levine, feeling good about how you're sticking it to the man and leading your independent corporate free lifestyle. Maybe work out a little with your CrossFit personal trainer while waiting for your husband to get home from his board executive job at Comcast, so he can take you out to a nice dinner at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen, where the two of you can talk about how you're making such edgy choices like keeping your minds, bodies, and lives free from corporate agendas while patting each other on the back. When you get home, you can pay Consuela for her babysitting, and then send her home with her $30 to her immunocompromised child that she's trying to make extra money to cover the medical bills for. If she's lucky, she's completely disinfected herself before leaving your house where your child, who is unbeknowingly to you, exposed to the measles virus on your Whole Foods trip while sleeping. If she's unlucky, she didn't realize, and now her child is infected as well. So tell me, will you send flowers to her child's funeral before or after logging onto your Comcast internet account and posting about your holistic life choices on your anti-vaccination message boards so you can have some kind of positive affirmation of your terrible life choices and false sense of do-goodery you idiot you dunce you stupid one day versus one whole month the entire month of may is national military appreciation month and ma'am and it has been since 1999 i have never once had my life threatened due to being in the military however members of the lgbtq plus community are threatened and killed every single day over something they have no control over Additionally, it is still illegal to be gay in over 70 countries. This post is incredibly ignorant, and if you and the others who have shared this post truly cared about military members, then you know May was end ma'am, and not just use this as an argument for your homophobia. And there you go, salute to the troops for that one. Why do all the cute guys have to be gay? Such a waste of man. There's almost 8 billion people. Maybe the problem isn't them being gay, because your personality's ugly. Once a guy on Grinder sent me hung, so I sent him a wiener pic and he said, you could have just said no, and then blocked me. <laughs> I feel bad for that guy. Imagine being that guy. You like what you see? No. Must have been an awkward moment for Angela Merkel to sit in the ceremony as the Allies commemorated D-Day that broke the back of these Nazi Germany. Germany after World War II destroyed all Nazi statues, paid reparations to Jews, criminalized hot denial. 
Arkansas, after the Civil War, built 57 racist Confederate statues, paid black people zero reparations, celebrates traitor Jefferson Davis. Awkward is your zero shame and self-awareness. Take it to him, my man. Take it to him. Are you pro-choice? Then Google abortion and click images. Are you still anti-life? Do it. I dare you. Abortion is wrong. Pass it on, pro-lifers. Spoiler alert. Here's what comes up in the first frame of Google Images. Several political cartoons, both pro and anti-choice. This infographic about the dangers of unsafe abortion in countries where it is illegal. This BAMF. I don't know what the BAMF is. Two images that could possibly be of an actual first trimester abortion. 90% of all abortions. Six images that are of late-term abortions, less than 2% of all abortions, which are only legal in cases to preserve the woman's life slash health or in cases of severe fetal abnormality. I'm still pro-choice. Now it's your turn. Google for back alley abortion, but don't click on the images this time. I want you to form an informed opinion based on facts. Click the first link. Read about all of the women who died pre-Roe and all the women and girls dying now because of restrictions on safe and legal abortion. Like the second link. It's an article that cites a peer-reviewed source confirming what you just read on Wikipedia. Click the third link. It's the recollection of a woman who had a pre-back alley abortion. It's horrific, and she was one of the lucky ones. Are you satisfied, or did you bother reading at all? <laughs> okay. Go ahead and images. The second picture is of girl Dean Santoro's lifeless body. Trigger warning for images in that article. She died when she attempted to induce abortion in the fear that her estranged husband would murder her for being pregnant with another man. She hemorrhaged to death alone in a seedy motel room. She left behind two daughters to be raised by their abusive father. So, what about now? Are you pro-choice? Or are you still clinging to the ideological dogma of sacrificing real, breathing, feeling women for unconscious, unfeeling fetuses? Which of us is truly anti-life? Hello, Kim. What's up, weirdo? Why do I have to be weirdo? If you weren't a weirdo, Kim would have given you her real phone number. In certain parts of London, straight couples fear holding hands. Which parts of London? If it's because you're 65 and she's 13, it's not because you're straight. Thanks to all my new followers. Love learning how to use Twitter. Don't forget about your old followers. And it's a, b <laughs> it's a bunch of cops. Just stopped at the newly remodeled McDonald's in blank. Very nice job. I was looking around and noticed the flagpole was gone. When I inquired whether or not they were putting it back up, I was told, NO! So, goodbye, blank McDonald's. My business will go elsewhere from now on, whether you're not afraid to let our flag wave proudly. Stand up for America. Put our flag back and wave it proudly. To me, every business should have the American flag on display. For frick's sake, it's a flag at McDonald's. You probably asked a kid behind the counter who probably has no idea what the frick you're talking about and just said no. Or more likely, it's just a gosh dang McDonald's, which isn't a U.S. embassy, postal office, courthouse, etc. It doesn't need a flag outside of it. When will people in Carroll County grow the heck up and realize that your backwards way of doing things is the reason that county is dying? Except for the oil, which even that is fading away. The fact that you let whether or not a flag is outside an establishment dictate what greasy and calorie-loaded crap you shove in your face is actually adorable. Grow up. Go experience something other than Carroll County, because a bunch of 30 to 50 year olds whining in all caps about how they won't buy a 99 cent cheeseburger just because they disrespected our right to be patriotic and fat at the same time is honestly embarrassing. Grow up and visit a place that isn't living in 1953. And that brings us to the end of r slash murdered by words, and wow, 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 wow. Is that a doozy? Is that a hard hitter? Hey, make a pancake. If you liked the video, leave a like down below and subscribe for more content from MK. And as always, I'll be seeing you.